video games. More specifically, mobile games. These games are very convenient to play on the go, like if you just want to whip out your Minecraft on the go instead of taking the Switch. I can understand that, but touch controls on these games are just horrible. And if you throw in touch controls with bad game design, that can just lead to a disaster. And if you throw ads in there, that can lead to even more of a disaster. But the worst part of mobile games is how you have to pay to win. It seems like mobile games are getting more and more reliant on pay to win. As many games are making it harder and harder to grind resources, making you just have to pay for their virtual currency to buy those items. A few notable examples are hill climb racing. Even though coins are super abundant, but people still buy their coins anyway for some reason. Clash of Clans! Elixir and whatever those things are. You can buy them for money, because, you know, people are lazy and... That's kind of the direction 2019's going into. Now, I can just hear you all asking, Well, how does pay-to-win work? Well, you see, pay-to-win works like this. You buy a mobile game. You wait for it to load. You continue waiting for it to load until it finally loads. with a tutorial probably and after you're done the tutorial you finally get into the game now in games that are mobile games there's mainly two currencies the lesser valuable currency that's more abundant normally coins or gold things and then there's the second currency which is more valuable and harder to get such as elixir and clash of clans even though it's not really that hard to get and gems and hill climb racing even though it's abundant though. People get lazy while they try to get these resources, so what do they do? They turn to money so they can buy these resources. In turn, they can use the resources they have bought to buy things in-game to make their lives easier. Like in Clash of Clans, when you need to upgrade things to not die every single time you get attacked. Here's a demonstration. <coughs> oh! Hill Climb Racing's fun, I've just been playing this game for quite a while. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like this game a lot, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm lazy now. I have almost five million coins, never mind, I have five million coins. I need more. Let's go to the shop. Okay, we're here. Ooh, that's a good deal. I feel like buying that. I bought it, yeah! Pay to win games have been around for a while. Now, mostly on mobile platforms, they can also be on console platforms, such as Xbox, PS4, and Switch. Now, most notably, Fortnite, that abomination of a game. Heck, even the 3DS had pay-to-win games, such as Rusty's Real Deal Baseball, where you just play the game and then you have to pay to continue playing. To win, that, that's pay-to-win. Another example is this badge arcade game. Now, I got it. It said free to play. So, I mean, I didn't know what I was expecting. I got it. I got like four or five free turns. You gotta use your credit card to beat the game. Dun 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 dun. dun. That's pay to win, by the way, if, if, you, didn't, if you didn't know that. Now, pay to win is increasing because companies realize so we can get them to pay for our game. And on top of them paying for our game, we can get them to pay for things inside of our game. <coughs> In-app purchases. <coughs> to increase our profits. We'll, we'll be trillionaires by the end of this decade. I can just see the money. Another horrible form of pay to win is when you get to buy the game for free and everything is free in it until you realize that there's one horrible drawback of the game. You can only do the game for a little bit until it says, whoa, 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 how did their partner? You're gonna have to wait half an hour, or you can pay five bucks to continue playing. These, in my opinion, are the worst pay to win games. Because the other ones, at least you can still play them for as long as you want while avoiding the pays. But in this game, or games, 
you have to pay to continue playing or wait. That that's just like that's horrible. Why would you ever want to do that? I think I'm gonna go ask my mom for some more Clash of Clans coins, cause I'm all out. Who spent a thousand bucks on my-